Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Blake316, here to talk about IGN Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition review. And just when IGN, in my opinion, was building up momentum of gaining credibility for their reviews, they blew it, bruh. They blew it with this review, and I'm convinced they were like, you know what, we're going to release this review and we're going to troll our viewers. I've never seen a review, well... I have actually on IGN seen a review this badly before, but I thought they learned their lesson. Let's talk about the mistakes with this review and how I'm convinced they were just set out to troll their viewers. First off, they didn't upload this video once, but they uploaded it twice because of their mistakes. They re-uploaded it twice because in the original review, they deleted it because they got a bunch of the names wrong of the characters. But guess what? They re-upload it and they still get the names wrong of the characters in the game. How do you do that? How do you get them wrong not only once, but you delete it and you get them wrong again? Like, really, bro? Also, IGN is usually really good with spoilers, right? They give a spoiler in a review. They say, warning, warning, this, this review contains spoilers. They didn't do that with this game. In this, in this review, there's huge, not little, but huge game spoilers. Like, what are you doing? You're seriously trolling your views, your viewers for, for the clicks. You, you have to be. Another thing, this game is arguably the best RPG of last generation. It's arguably the best. The best RPG in the past 15 years, arguably a top 15, top 10 RPG. With that being said, this game got a 9 on the Wii. Updated graphics, visuals, they added a whole bunch of stuff. You give it an 8, you give it an 8. You're definitely trolling, bro. And I don't want to hear like, oh, well, it's a remaster, it's a remake. Those, those, those scores, they always get lower scores. They never get the higher scores, the high scores like the original. BS, because guess what? Persona 5 Royale got a 10, and it had less upgrades, less new additions than Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And it's real, it's neck and neck of which game is better, Xenoblade Chronicles and the Persona 5. And don't tell me, no, Persona 5 is better because that's just recent in your memory. I'm telling you right now, this game is legit one of the best RPGs ever. Now, I'm convinced that IGN is literally trolling people. They were like, you know what? We're not going to give it that bad a review, but we're going to give it, because the eight's not bad, but we're going to give it a re review score enough where it's going to get people pissed off and it's going to get people talking. But you got them talking in the wrong way. And the, and the guy who did this review, he must have like rolled his eyes like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to play this. He was saying comments like, ah, I, I can't even believe this game keep, kept me as interested as long as it did. Like, it was like a struggle. Like, like he was struggling to be interested. Like, like, it was just too long and it was too much of a game for him. Like, he wasn't man enough to play this long game. Bro, go play a four, six hour Call of Duty campaign if you can't play this game. He shouldn't have took, t taken this review. Another thing when I'm convinced that they're trolling in this review, at the end of the review, you know what they say? Hey, if you want to see other RPG reviews done by IGN, check out our Fallout 76 review. They said that at the end of the video. The fact that you even mentioned Fallout 76 in the same breath, in the same video as Xenoblade Chronicles, you're trolling. Yo, let me tell you something. I'm a troll. A troll can see a troll. I can spot a troll a mile away. And that's what IGN was doing. They got the names wrong. They're giving out spoilers. They're giving terrible review scores. They're, they're talking about now go watch our Fallout 76 review as if that's going to be another game that I'm going to watch. No, no, no. IGN, you done messed up. You done blew it. Yo, I'm convinced you ever said the troll. You got the clicks. You gave out the bait, and now you're getting all the wrong attention. Once again, IGN, this is why I always go to GameSpot. GameSpot, since day one, always legit. IGN, y'all just keep messing up, bro. But anyway, it's me, Blake316. I couldn't, I couldn't let this slide under the rug because I had to call it out for what it was. Like It's legit trolling. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this review. Check it out. Come back and then you can point out what I, you can see exactly what I'm saying. But anyway, it's me, Blake316. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, please. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.